Good morning and welcome to Listed Plus. I'm your host, Tracy Lynn. Thank you for joining us today. You might want to hurry up and grab that cup of coffee because our show is jam-packed with tips, ideas, and advice from our local experts and the hottest new listings in your area. On today's show, we have Andrew from Hamco, and he's teaching me how to change my furnace filter. We're going to talk about how divorce and mortgages play a role together. We're going to get your home ready for the holidays. And have you ever thought about putting hardwood floors in your kitchen? Well, you don't want to miss today's show. And now we present to you the hottest new listings in your area. Sixteen Bridgeport Crescent in Ancaster. You must get inside. It's fully renovated, hardwood floors throughout, granite counters in kitchen and bathrooms, fully finished basement with gas fireplace and a wet bar, new carpet and rec room, freshly painted throughout, new roof in 2013, large fenced backyard with deck, great location, walk to the box stores and schools. This one won't last, it shows 10 plus plus, so get inside today. Call Joseph Rizzotti from Home Life Professionals at 905-730-2934. Welcome home to this beautifully done, custom built two story home at 1108 Upper Paradise Road in Hamilton. With approximately 3,000 square feet, this home offers enough square footage for the growing family. The main floor offers an open concept floor plan with a traditional center staircase. The kitchen has maple cabinets that are offset beautifully by black granite counters. The large main floor family room has a cozy fireplace, great for warming up on these cold nights. The second floor boasts large bedrooms and a master bedroom with five-piece ensuite fit for a queen. Upgrades galore, you don't want to miss this home. For more information, call Rod Frank, Remax Escarpment at 905-575-5478. A new trend when it comes to flooring is putting hardwood in your kitchen. Steve from Vartanian Rugs explains. Steve, traditionally we would not use hardwood flooring in the kitchen. It was, it was always a no-no. But you said that people are actually choosing this now. Yeah, they're trying to uh, keep the same look. Let's say if they have hardwood in their family room or in their dining room, they're trying to keep it consistent into the kitchen. Um, one of the main bonuses to that is that, well, two of the main bonuses is that one, you get a great look, okay, with the wood on wood. Uh, second of all, it makes the floor look a lot bigger, it makes the room look bigger because the floor is all consistent. Yeah, oh, so that's key. It's going to yeah. make the room look bigger. Yeah. We're always trying to do makeovers and, and improve our kitchen. But when you have a kitchen that has two different types of wood, so we have cabinetry that's usually darker and an island that's lighter, mm -hmm. where's the happy medium when we're choosing hardwood flooring? You can go either way. You okay. can take, usually, preferably, you want to see it go to a darker floor. Okay. Okay. Um, so if you do see some of the cabinets that have, like, let's say, for example, that French provincial look where it's kind of like creamy, mm -hmm. but the island is an espresso color, go with the espresso color. Okay. It'll make the cabinet stand out that much more. And then the countertop will also work as a nice contrast for that. So how do we prepare for you to come in? I know we talked about what, um, taking baseboards off or not. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we get our floor ready? For when we're putting this hardwood. For when flooring. you're doing the kitchen, yeah. for example. Okay, so what'll happen is if it's a new rental, for example, uh, we see two different scenarios. One, if the kitchen's already pre uh, installed. Uh, the second is, is if the kitchen's going to come in after the wood goes in. The easiest, obviously, is if the wood, the kitchen comes in after the wood install. Okay. If, for example, the kitchen is going in prior, what would happen then is the company that installs the kitchen mm -hmm. uh, would then set the kitchen cabinetry to be the height of the wood. So they'd shim it underneath, and we would simply come in get our wood installed to that level and then from there they would apply the kickboards to the kitchen cabinets. So a new trend, 
it's okay to put hardwood flooring. It actually looks great and it yeah. makes the room look bigger. Yeah, and then bear in mind too, now that there are woods out there that come in either a weathered look, mm -hmm. uh, we talked about wire brush in the past, we talked about the hand scrapes. If something were to fall onto those woods, you really wouldn't see the damage as much as you would in those traditional woods with the uh, semi-gloss oh, so finishes. Durable. Absolutely. Okay. Where can somebody go to get more information from you? At BartaniumRugs.com. Great, well thank you very much. My pleasure. Star Ward Homes wants you to love where you live. And with this in mind, Star Ward Homes introduces their newest community, Country Ridge Estates, a state-inspired country living close to the city. Located at 20 Road between Miles Road and Upper James, Country Ridge Estates has a lot to offer. It includes various lot sizes ranging from 40 feet to 50 feet, as well as 11 unique floor plans. With a great view of green space and loads of amenities just a few minutes away, Country Ridge strives to give you the peace and quiet of the country with perks of city living. This community is the perfect place to love where you live. You must see the model home located at 8105 20 Road East. Welcome home to 272 Alma Lane in Ancaster. Beautifully renovated open concept, three plus one bedrooms with hardwood floors and tile throughout. Custom bathrooms with granite. Large custom maple kitchen with large breakfast bar and granite. Replaced windows and doors. Drive through two car deep garage with heated insulated workshop. Pool sized yard. For more information, call Jerry and Shelley Romano, Remax Escarpment Realty at 905. 389-9400. Going through a divorce can be very difficult, overwhelming, and sometimes you're not thinking straight. Did you know that it can affect your credit rating and your mortgage? Trevor from Dominion Lending Center is here to explain more. Trevor, some people go through this thing called divorce, and mm -hmm. we know that it can take a toll on our lifestyle, and, and um, it, your, the change is going to happen no matter what. So what happens when it comes to our mortgage? What are our options? It's happening you know, way too often, yeah. over 50% of the time. Um, there's a couple scenarios that I've seen uh, in my career. Uh, one being where there's enough equity in the property, two people deciding not to stay together. Mm -hmm. One party would be able to buy out the other party. So a okay. simple refinance in that case. Um, whatever the negotiated payout is. Uh, other circumstances where there's not enough equity in the property, uh, people are splitting, sometimes we have to sell the property mm -hmm. and have each individual qualify for their own mortgage in that case. Okay, so what we do have options when it comes to that. Now, sometimes we're not civil <laughs> and we may not like that other person. Um, how is it that you're gonna sit down with the two of us and, and give us, like, what advice would you have for them? Right. So very important not to think that you're hurting the other person, yeah. making sure that you are still making your minimum credit card payments to keep a, a very good credit. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of circumstances where people think they're hurting the other, uh, not making credit card payments, and now all of a sudden they're into a B or private lending type mortgages, higher interest okay. rates, they've actually hurt themselves. Um, so making your minimum credit card payments, lines of credit, you know, mm -hmm. car loans, all that stuff is important. So if we find ourselves going through a situation like that, we do have options when it comes to our mortgage. There so. Are. I mean, we just don't want to assume that, you know, we don't have a home to live in, right? That's right. We, you know, we can help out. The best thing to do is talk to, you know, myself or one of my mortgage brokers um, so that we can give you the, you know, the right advice uh, and a pathway to, you know, freedom, I guess, from that marriage. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Where can somebody go to get more information if they need to, uh, to find yeah, out more? They, they can go to my website, which is trevordaily.ca. <laughs> Seventy six Peach Tree Lane in Grimsby. Open house today between two and four. Spacious four bedroom executive model home located in Cherrywood Estates. An upscale neighborhood on a quiet crescent. Only two years new. Striking open concept design. Numerous features and upgrades include nine foot ceilings, large gourmet kitchen with maple cabinetry, spacious center island granite counters, recessed lighting, and top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances. Main floor family room open to kitchen with gas fireplace, hardwood floors. Double doors lead to a great backyard with a spacious aggregate concrete patio, fully fenced yard with privacy fencing, and wonderful escarpment views. 
stunning staircase leads to upper level and a master suite with ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet. Bedroom level, laundry room. For more information, call Zoe Ozis from Remax Garden City, 905-945-0660. This gorgeous executive home is located in the prestigious and sought-after Joshua Creek area of Oakville. Welcome to 1315 Bayshire Drive, an Oxford Gate model which shows to perfection and provides a spacious floor plan with a number of upgrades and recent improvements. The main level highlights large principal rooms including a formal living room, a separate dining room, a new kitchen with plenty of soft closing cabinetry, quartz countertops, breakfast bar, stainless steel appliances and a breakfast area which is open to the family room. A main floor den, powder room and the laundry room with second staircase to the lower level complete this floor. Upstairs is the master bedroom with a new five-piece luxurious ensuite featuring a soaker tub and separate shower. Three additional bedrooms, a second ensuite plus an updated four-piece main bathroom. This home is nestled on a nicely landscaped mature lot complete with solar and gas heated in-ground pool, patterned concrete patio and pool surround, a deck and cabana or pool house. For more information to view this home call Debbie Gonin Brown or Sarah McMurchy, sales representative with Team Gonin at Remax About Realty at 905-338-9000. Stunning and luxurious, Bungaloft offers all the desirable main floor conveniences of a bungalow with the additional space and privacy of a two-story home. Welcome home to 8 Ready Drive in Hamilton. The main floor features a master bedroom, a den, convenient main floor laundry, plus a gorgeous five-piece ensuite with a relaxing oversized soaker tub. This level is finished with gorgeous scraped oak hardwood and ceramics has nine foot ceilings and offers a modern open concept design. The spacious kitchen is finished with quality granite countertops and features a walk-in pantry and beautiful bar area perfect for entertaining. The great room has a dramatic vaulted ceiling, cozy gas fireplace and a unique carpet insert. Upstairs, there are two gorgeous sized bedrooms, perfect for the grandchildren and a convenient three piece bathroom. The basement level is partially finished and offers additional living space with a massive rec room, loads of storage, top quality home features brick and stucco construction, paved drive, fenced yard and tasteful landscaping. Come see this fantastic home. Call Peter Vandendool from Remax Escarpment at 905-575-5478. Like some of you, I have never changed my furnace filter and I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, today, Andrew from Hamco is going to teach me how to do it. Andrew, you spoke before about the importance of changing our filter on a regular basis, but how do we do that? All right. Well, first we need to identify the type of furnace you have uh -huh. and then the type of filter you have. So one thing we do as a company is we always put a filter outside of the furnace. Now okay. For, for presentation purposes, this is a little higher up, but normally the filter sits just to the to the right or left of the furnace. In this okay. case, we're over here. So what we're wa going to want to do is pop this off. Okay. This is just a special cover just to protect okay. the filter. And then, we've got the... and then we've got our filter here. So we want to first pull it out. Now this one here is relatively clean. Okay. And the first thing we want to comment on is the size. So unfortunately with manufacturers, they make bunch of different sizes. Now, mm -hmm. We pretty much use 16 by 25 by 1 and that's the most common size you're going to find. Standard in is this. You got it. So that's 16 this way, 25 here and then one inch thick. Okay. okay. And the airflow we always want point towards the furnace. Oh, okay. So it's another technique and most of them will actually put it on there. Now the one thing people sometimes forget to do is I write the date on it when I change the filter at my mm -hmm. house and what I recommend mm -hmm. a lot of clients to do. Yes, which we have here. You got it. Okay, because that's one thing you want to do because mm -hmm. you tend to forget mm -hmm. how often did it change it. And I want people to get in the habit coming down here and just doing a little walk through making sure it's okay. okay. You have water that could be leaking, a dirty filter, mm -hmm. could have a red light that's coming up from here. You want to make sure you're aware of this appliance. I want you to come down and love this thing like you love your stove. Yeah, so I know one of the things I've heard people ask too you know, how much do we invest in our filter? Like, can I not just go to the store, sure. get one off the shelf, yes. and hope that it's going to do its job? You could, pending you get the right size. Okay. So this is a filter that we as a company sell, but mm -hmm. this is one you can also get anywhere, essentially. Okay. The biggest thing I want to stress is you want to get the right size for your furnace. Okay. So you want to ensure that you've either taken the filter with you, mm -hmm. and when you're going there, maybe buy two or three different types. 
experiment. See which one works for you. Okay. The inexpensive ones are you know, great for filtering the air. The other ones are going to be if you're doing exotic cooking, you have a lot of people in the home, pets, smoking, you're going to want a higher filter or if just okay. general dust issues. So depending on the criteria of the home and what you ultimately want to establish, that's going to kind of regulate how much you want to spend. And please okay. buy more than one. You're going to need it. Most clients will go and make one trip, stop and buy an $8 cappuccino and then come home. Buy a few filters. So invest in, in their invest. filters because it's go. very important. Huge. For the home. Huge. So we just, we popped this, yep. we took this out, and then yep. we, we put the new yep. one in. Now this one here essentially is our new one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to basically take it again. Okay. Now we're going to uh, turn the air arrow towards the furnace. Yep. Okay. Okay. So all right. they all come with this arrow. So it's going to show me which. Now some of them don't, but most of them they'll have it here. And if they don't have it here, you can always end up marking it on a different spot that's easier for you to see. Okay. So you're going to slide that right in. Simple as that. And then this guard, you're going to basically just pop it right into place. Okay. And you're done. Now, the one step we didn't do is write down the date, but that's one thing I want you to do as well, okay. is make sure you're just writing down the date and make a habit, mark it on your calendar, and then once you get in the routine of it, that's fine. If you want to make a note on the ductwork here, yeah. get a little piece of paper and make a note there. Some clients like to do that. Great. Well, thank you so much for helping me learn how to change the filter in my furnace, and I guess I have no excuse now but to keep doing it. You got it. Where can somebody go to get more information? Uh, visit us at uh, 200 Queen Street North or check us out at hamco.ca. Thank you very much. Caledonia back split on deep 221 foot mature lot backing onto a schoolyard. Located at 128 Renfrew Street East. Gray curb appeal with brick front, paved driveway, one and a half car detached garage, and nicely landscaped. Offering two plus one bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and a spacious floor plan. All four levels are finished. Open concept kitchen, living and dining room on main floor, Bright lower level rec room has a gas fireplace, laundry, two-piece bathroom, and an extra bedroom on fourth level. Highlights include newer flooring, decor, roof and bathroom. A tremendous opportunity to reside in a quiet neighborhood, but still be within walking distance to all amenities. It's an awesome alternative to renting. For more information, call Chuck Hogatur from Remax Escarpment at 905 Five four five one one eight eight. Two four six five Lakeshore Road in Haldeman, a Lake Erie masterpiece offering ownership on both sides of Lakeshore Road. Envision having your morning coffee or a late night glass of wine, enjoying magnificent views of the ever-changing moods of Mighty Erie. Five-year custom-built brick bungalow on one point one six acre lot with a fully finished basement. Detached 26 by 36 foot three car garage with matching front bricks similar to the dwelling. Beautiful landscaping, paver stone walkways, Trex front deck protected by pro design solarium sun shield, and crisp asphalt drive extends to garage. Three bedroom main floor plan include master with four piece ensuite, custom maple kitchen cabinets, Jenner appliances, island, great room sporting cathedral ceilings, natural gas fireplace, and a garden door walkout to the lake facing entertainment area. Main floor laundry, handy two-piece bathroom, and a walkout to covered rear sitting area. There's an enormous basement which is perfect for large family gatherings. Call to book a viewing with Peter Hogatur from Remax Escarpment at 905-545-1188. Don't miss this stunning executive townhouse in the heart of downtown Burlington at 2061 Maria Street, Unit 12. It is perfect for the empty nester or those looking to downsize and enjoy Burlington's vibrant downtown core. This incredible location allows you to walk to restaurants and cafes, the lake, Spencer Smith Park, shops and more. This home is great for entertaining and has over 2,500 square feet plus a finished basement. The bright and spacious custom home has numerous pot lights, large windows and 9-foot ceilings. Features include a large gourmet open concept kitchen with oversized island and stone countertops, hardwood floors throughout, double car garage, spacious balcony for entertaining outdoors, 
two large bedrooms with walk-in closets and ensuite bathrooms on the upper floor. This home boasts a maintenance-free exterior as the monthly condo fee includes exterior maintenance and insurance, snow removal, landscaping, and lawn maintenance. Don't miss out. Call James Mink, Colwell Banker at 905-484-2753. Tis the season for family get-togethers at your home for the holidays. Are you paint ready? Well, Ken Looker from Standard Paint shows us how to be. Ken, this time of the year, we're, we're, we don't want to think about Christmas coming. So how can we prepare our home? Because we still have enough time for, before the guests arrive. As you said, no one wants to think about it, but let's be honest, no matter what you do or what you say, mm -hmm. what you think, it's not going to stop from coming. It's inevitable. And the problem is nowadays that a lot of people, there's bigger family get-togethers. Mm -hmm. For a long time, it seemed people had smaller family get-togethers, but they're much bigger now. What you have to do is figure out how am I going to host 10, 12, 14, 16 people in my home, figure out the space they're going to be in, and what you want to do is make sure that space is represented in its best features. For example, instead of walking into your dining room December 23rd and realizing I have to fit 12 people around this table and my walls look like they haven't been painted since my grandchild was born, what you want to do is be in a situation where you can go in in advance and start thinking about these things. Right about now is generally a good time to do a walkthrough of your home and figure out the rooms that you're going to be entertaining people in or that they're going to be using. So what should we be looking for if we're going to be doing a checklist and say, okay, like you said, the dining room. What should we be looking for to say, okay, this needs to be done and that needs to be done? Little things that you can look at. Some of them will start with cleaning. Mm -hmm. Simply wash down those walls. Make sure that your walls look clean, they've been dusted off, they look newer. Things like a dining room, maybe you'll have a chandelier. Clean that chandelier off. Go in there and when you've decided after it's clean, if you want to paint, now is the time to do it. You generally don't have a lot of things going on right now. Mm -hmm. I know myself that I'm doing a couple painting projects at home because come December, I'm not going to have the time for it. Yeah, so the filling in the holes, doing the trim, and washing the walls. But what are we washing the walls with? Because some paint, I don't know, if maybe old school, if it's flat or if it's got a gloss, you can't wash it with certain things. Anything that's uh, a lower quality paint, generally your older flats are going to be products that aren't washable. And it's only been actually in the last 10 to 12 years that washable flats have come out. Mm -hmm. So you have 100% acrylic latex finishes that still give you a washable latex flat finish. So they hide your surface imperfections in older homes. These are actually fantastic because they bring out deeper, richer colors. Mm -hmm. Something like a dining room where if you want to go with deep red or chocolate brown, something like the Para Elite Suede, which is a washable flat, will look fantastic on these walls. Nice. So maybe even just doing an accent wall if you don't have time to do the full room, right? Accent walls are fantastic. One of the things that people look at is they'll go into it and they'll say, my room looks boring. And you can go in and maybe you have a beige or a taupe that doesn't excite you. Pick something to go with that accent wall, it's going to be exciting. So when people walk into that room, the greatest compliment you can have from your family is, wow, look at this room. Mm -hmm. And how hard is it to paint out a wall? It's a couple hours of work. It's a weekend project. Right? Uh, it's not even a weekend. No? It, you're looking at taping up your trim. Mm -hmm putting two coats paint on you're looking at one day. Wow, so if somebody <laughs> wants to spruce up their home before the holidays, where can they get more information on this? They can visit us online at standardpaint.ca. They can follow us on Twitter or on Facebook, or come in and visit us at the store at 2279 Fairview Street, Burlington. Great, well thank you very much for your tips today. <music> 111 South Cayuga in Denville. Wabasso Condominium Residences. New, quality built by Silver Thorn Homes. Stone and brick exterior. Finished nine foot ceilings. Open concept interior design. Graciously appointed kitchen with island. Loads of cupboards complete this custom raised panel cabinetry. Gorgeous master ensuite four piece bath. Main floor laundry, full basement, from $229,900, HST included. Open house Saturdays between 2 and 4. Call Isaac Phillips, Royal LePage State at 905-574-4600. Open house today between 2.15 and 3.15. Convenient location and walking distance to everything. Welcome to 32 K Street in Hamilton. Lots of updates, two and a half story stucco entrance, three bedroom, finished attic loft, used as a playroom or a family room. Newer windows, doors, kitchen and bathroom. 
100 amp breaker, good sized eat-in kitchen with newer steel back door to large roof covered patio, lots of parking with newer fenced yard, approximately five and a half year new gas furnace. Roof is approximately eight years old. For more information, call Al Cosentino, Remax Escarpment at 905-570-9997. On today's show, our featured agent profile is with Zoe Ozis from Remax, and she shows us that passion is just one characteristic to succeed as a real estate agent. Zoe, 25 years in the real estate industry, how would you explain your customer service? Because that plays a huge role in your success. Absolutely, I do believe regardless of the line of work, um, service is still, regardless how technologically inclined we are today, mm -hmm. service is still number one. If you serve your client, you're constantly thinking, how might I better present their homes? How might I sell their home um, in the best way possible? I research constantly and constantly improve my methods in order to serve my client. Staging is an integral part of that. Okay, so let's talk about staging because you're saying the importance of getting that home so you can sell it and how you're gonna market it. Why staging? Staging is probably um, not even the right word, I would say. It is preparing a home in a way that it will present beautifully online when the realtor see it, when the public sees it, the world sees it. I don't let a listing go to market without being market ready. And I believe that is part of my success. Many times I'll take over a listing second time, third time around, and it looks beautiful and fresh because we sit down methodically and decide how we're gonna present it to the world. So the importance of first impression. Absolutely, absolutely. And we only have seconds to impress the public and the realtors. I want those seconds to be my listing being picked for viewing. And I believe that's part of why my listing sells so well. And so success to not only customer service, but how you present your home. Very important. And sometimes a seller may be reluctant and they think, well, this is a little more hocus pocus, but it really isn't. It really isn't because we have such a small, finite time to uh, get that interest, that excitement. So the uh, how it shows online, mm -hmm. the write-up, I love to write, is important to invite the realtors, to invite the public to come and see this extraordinary home. That makes me excited. You know what it gets me excited is your passion for this. It, I am passionate. I'm feeling it. I'm as passionate today at after 25 years as I was the first day. And I love what I do. I love matching the puzzles and putting the pieces together for a client. And what drives me the most, I would say, is this awesome responsibility I'm given by my client not to disappoint them. That's what drives me most. And absolutely no disappointments here. Where can somebody go to get more information on you? Uh, you can reach me at 905-945-0660 or my website, zoeosis at remax.net. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time Pleasure. today. Hard to believe the show is over. Thank you very much for welcoming us into your home again this week. We want your feedback. What do you want more of? Do you have a real estate or home decor question? Email tracy at listedplus.ca. Stop by our Facebook page for tips, ideas, and advice from our local experts. And don't forget to pick up your free copy of Our Homes magazine available on newsstands near you. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous week.